The Woodcutter's Mitten by Leok Kumpmans. The Woodcutter's Mitten, an old tale retold and illustrated by Leok Kumpmans. One cold winter morning, a woodcutter and his little dog went for a walk in the forest. They were walking along side by side when the old man dropped his mitten. There it lay on the frozen ground. Soon afterwards, a cold little mouse came along. This is the perfect home for me, she squeaked. A little later, a frog stopped in front of the mitten. Who's who lives in this mitten? He asked. My name is Mistress Mouse. And who are you? I am Frog Limpy Leg. May I come in? Sure, come on in. So Frog Limpy Leg moved into the mitten with Mistress Mouse and they were very comfortable. After a while, a rabbit arrived. Who lives in this mitten, he asked. I am Mistress Mouse and this is Frog Limpy Leg. And who are you? I am Rabbit Fast on Foot. I would love to live with you in your mitten. Sure, come on in. Oh dear, look at the snow. Then came a little fox. She also asked, who lives here? Mistress Mouse, Frog Limpy Leg, and Rabbit Fast on Foot. And I am Fox Golden Fur. May I come in? Sure, come on in. And the four of them snuggled into the mitten and they were very warm and cozy. Then a boar came. Who lives in here? He grunted. Mistress Mouse, Frog Limpy Leg, Rabbit Fast on Foot, and Fox Golden Fur. And who are you? said the other animals. I am Boar Flatnose. And I also want to live here, he snorted. Oh no, you are far too fat, the other animal shouted. But they felt sorry for him. So they said, let's see if we can cuddle together. Maybe you can, maybe we can fit you in. Oh. Look at who's coming back here. You can see him. They somehow managed to squeeze the boar into the mitten. And they were all five animals cuddled very close together in their new home. Suddenly, they heard some branches cracking. And a deep, growly voice said, who lives in this mitten? Mistress Mouse, Frog Limpy Leg, Rabbit Fast on Foot, Fox Golden Fur, and Boar Flat Nose. And who are you? Growl, growl, I am Master Bigfoot. Let me in. There is no room anymore. There must be, said the bear. Make yourselves as small as possible. And would you believe it? That bear also fit into the mitten. Hmm. Meanwhile, on the other side of the forest, the old woodcutter suddenly noticed he lost his mitten. He turned around and went straight back to look for it. 
Oh dear, look at the snow. At last, the little dog found the mitten. But what was that? It moved as if it were alive. Woof, 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 said the, the little dog barked. The six animals were so startled, they all jumped out of the mitten and ran off into the forest. The old woodcutter arrived and picked up his mitten and patted his dog. Good doggy, he said. I don't know if that would be the size of the mitten. Hmm. The end.